Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You actually thought that you were the only one waiting for that part two video. Come on now. I've been waiting for it too and now it's arrived. So let's get to it, huh? you guys I've been following all of their damn videos about their damn love okay that lasted about a month I don't know what's happening I don't know what's going on but we're here to react so let's get to it huh easy and Natalie uploaded a video called saying goodbye it's over part two mm, real fake kind of real kind of fake I want the authentic easy and Natalie y'all don't gotta do these little episodes we're gonna follow you regardless we're gonna watch regardless if y'all are true supporters right am I right are y'all ready to react? Cause I sure as hell am. Here we go. Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with her family and I had made some tweets. I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. But I just need you to hear me out of like, I have to go, I'm gonna go. What do you, Natalie, come here, come here. Mm. Just let me talk to you. Just, okay, so I've asked my supporters and my subbies if they know anything about that tweet that they're talking about. No one could give me the exact tweet that she put out, but they gave me an idea they had to do something with Natalie's sister. So I guess there's been some beef and I guess Easy says something, like basically want to air out some dirty laundry. And you know what? I will say that is bad. Cause if I was Natalie, there's no way in hell that you're gonna, you're gonna put out my, my family's dirty laundry out there. If you have respect for me, you won't do that. So I get why she's upset. But to end it like this, I hope not. But let's see what happens. I don't think I don't have anything to say. Yes, you do. Just talk to me. It's me. It's me you're talking to. Your best friend of three years, Natalie. Four years. It's me you're talking to. Talk to me. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. That gave me some chills. <laughs> That gave me some chills the way Easy was looking at her deep in her eyes and just saying, this is me. This is me you're talking to. Listen, I'm an emotional human being. I'm a sensitive person. I'm pretty empathetic towards others. So I felt that. I felt it. Did y'all? Listen, if y'all gonna have this conversation, please let us know what that tweet was exactly. Exactly. Because you're leaving the most important part out. Though for those who missed it. And I was one of those people who missed it. Can y'all elaborate, please? Please please talk in detail. <laughs> Cause you're choosing to talk in front of a camera to your audience. So let us in on the rest of the information, you know? <laughs> we were this close. We were this close. We almost had it, E. We almost had it. Almost had the fairy tale story. My family and you were starting to finally get along. Finally get along. And then you go. What's the problem? She said, finally get along. Y'all have only been friends for three years. What kind of drama have they been having? Now, am I wrong about this? But wasn't Easy the one that actually helped the whole family come up on YouTube? Wasn't it her support system that went over to Natalie and Natalie's family to show them also support? Because if it wasn't for Easy, who knows if they would even have a following? Where's the drama? What happened, please? That's me. You pulled the rug from underneath us. Okay. From under our future together. I know, I know, I know you're sorry. I know you're sorry. I want to... Girl! So a tweet ruined your future with her? Then I truly don't believe that you are madly in love with Easy like you say you are. There's no fucking way. After one tweet, you're just gonna let it all go like that? Just like that? 
There's gonna be times where your family and your partner are not gonna get along, vice versa. You fight through that. It's gonna go back and forth, it's gonna go up and down. But you have more good times than you have bad. But here you are after one tweet, I think you're looking for excuses. No lie, no lie. I think you're looking for excuses to get out of this. And because Easy fucked up once, you're gonna use it against her. I don't know, I'm not liking this, Natalie. I ain't liking it. I want to, you mm. know, I just want to be like, it's okay, like, it's fine, but it's not, it's not, it's not fine. You know, like, these past, these past few days, I've been, I'm not, just, please, I have been pushed to some dark places, you know, I've thought things that, you know, I never really thought I would, I've felt things that I never thought I would. Okay. Because I can't do this anymore. I've been here so I can't. System, I, I've been here for Where it. was the support, E? Now, where was the support when I needed it? When you stormed off and you made that tweet out of emotion, where was the support then? Where was your Where was your concern about me? Where, where was your I'm concern? Human. Where was your concern about our relationship? About your relationship with my family? Girl, like you're perfect though. Like you're perfect, net net. So many people react off of emotion. How can you not? If you really truly love someone and you really want her family to love and support you and her together and you're not getting that for whatever reason, you're going to be emotional about it and sometimes you make some irrational decisions. Spur of the moment decisions. And that was one of hers. So what, you're just going to like throw that shit in her face and make her feel so guilty about it? Natalie, there's going to be a time when you're going to do the same exact thing. Same exact thing. Don't hold that against her. Come on now. About all of this that you are so concerned about now because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to lose it. True. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, I needed it then. Uh, true. I understand, Natalie. I totally understand. I'm not trying to... That's true. I, I give Natalie that. Some people won't, won't even be sorry for what they did until they're about to lose it all. And when they're about to lose it all, they're going to fight hard to get it back. But if the person was still there while you made that mistake, what is there to fight for? If the person's still there, right? I get Natalie on that part. To fight anything that I felt at all, period. I'm sitting here telling you, and I've told you countless and countless of times, like, Natalie, I take full ownership of everything that I've ever done. But taking full ownership E doesn't mean you're not going to do it again. And that's the problem. What? I'm tired. What are you talking about? You don't know what's gonna happen. You can't say that. Okay, fine. Judge her on her past, right? Judge her on her present. But how can you judge someone on their future if you, if it, if you ain't even there yet? Confused? I'm so I'm confused. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of the separation. Me too. I'm tired of the two. Now I want to be close to them. I want to have this relationship. Natalie, I'm tired. Natalie. I'm yeah. sick and tired, Natalie. I need... We, I kept trying to convince her to stay so we could work everything out together. Stop. That's what I told you. I didn't want you coming here to try to convince me to not go back to Miami. Am I not supposed to fight for what No. I Damn. Like, no. She's going to she Miami? Not for it when it mattered. When, when, you, when you could change something. No. I need to go home. I need, I need to go back to Miami. I need to be with my mom. Damn. I need to just relax. I need to talk to my mom. I need... Damn. I, need, I just need space. I need to be away from you. I like, can't. What is that, like over 100,000 miles away, Natalie? We can take our space. It's been, what, two weeks? Two weeks since I haven't, I haven't seen you, Natalie. They, they I know this, they know this. That. This is not, look, e, what? look, what, please. What am I supposed to do? Oh, did you see Nat Nat? She's trying so much to avoid looking at Easy's eyes. There was a brief second where she glanced at her and they, they glanced at each other and, okay, she does love Easy, <laughs> okay. I just saw it. I saw it. I haven't seen you, Natalie. They they I know this. More they know this. That. This is not right there. Me. What? Oh. Look, what? Please. Oh. Just let you go. You're supposed to realize that you made a mistake. I did. She and this did. Is because of the mistake that you made. Okay. So you trying to get me to stay? This is not taking ownership. Okay. Taking ownership is knowing I did something, and this is what's happening because I did it. Not trying to 
you know, lessen the blow. I'm not trying to be like, please don't punish me in this way. Don't, it's not, it's not even about you. I'm not trying to punish you, E. You're an adult. I need you to understand, though, that when you do something, there's an effect. It's a cause and effect, okay? I understand. Okay, but so we just no. not, I just expressed my love to you, Natalie. Now you want to go run away. Of that, e. You should have thought of that, E. You should have thought of that, E. When you when you made that tweet, you should have thought of that. You did. You did. You just got the girl. You finally got the girl. Natalie, <laughs> are you such a special prize that? Easy, so she should have been so thankful that she finally got the girl. This is a fairy tale. No, girl, this ain't no fucking fairy tale. This is real life. Real life. And Easy has feelings, okay? She is a true lesbian. She knows exactly how she feels about you because Easy is gay. You are, are so confused on why you feel these feelings, which is natural for a woman who, so who is starting to have feelings for the first time towards another woman. But you're still trying to figure yourself out. Easy knows what the fuck she wants. So don't look at yourself like you're a special prize, okay? Because Easy can have anyone, but she wants you. Don't think so highly of yourself. Come on now. I gotta go. I'm going back to Miami and I'm gonna just, I need, to, I need, to, I need space, I need to think. I'm sorry, Neezy gang, I know that I know that you guys have invested a lot in us I know that you guys love us and you look forward to watching us you know on YouTube and stuff and you were so excited about <laughs> us giving this a try okay this is sad this is sad because she's starting to show emotion when she's talking to Neezy Gang. Her voice is starting to crack. Sounds like she's about to cry. Her throat is choking. Not when talking to Easy about the situation, but when talking to us, the audience. Now that can mean one or two things. That can mean she cares more about this YouTube channel than actually being in love and being with Easy. Or this is fake and she is performing right now. Either way, she's not crying. I see no tears coming out of her eyes at all. Her eyes don't even look watery. Oh no, man. But just know that this is my real life. And no matter how bad I want to keep pumping out content for you, no matter how bad I want to give you what you want, I have to make a decision for me right now because my mental state, my emotional state isn't there. And I need my space. I need to take time. I need to, you know, I'm always preaching to you guys about mental health and loving yourself and like, you know, meditating and journaling. I need to do that from. <laughs> Yo, look at easy though. I need to be with my mom. I need to really. I'm sorry. This is kind of funny. <laughs> Natalie's like being emotional and shit and Easy's looking so sad. She's just looking like a sad lost puppy. Look at her though. Look at myself. This is self-care. Look this at her. This is removing myself from a situation that is Easy. causing me just mental. I stopped listening to Natalie. I'm sorry, but Easy, stop. Stop. It's not the end of the world. It didn't even start. Your relationship with, with Natalie didn't even start. You'll be okay. Emotional damage. Uh, just taking my space and my time. So, I respect your time, Natalie. And like I told you before, I will respect it. I have to respect it because like you said, it's cause and effect. And I did something that affected you. And you know, I never want to hurt you. I never want to see you like this. So if it means, you know, going across the country and getting that space that you need for your mental sanity and your mental health, like, I'm down for it. You know, I support you 100%. And I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I'm not wrong. I am. And I'm taking full ownership. And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to prove to you that it's worth, it's worth fighting for. It's mm. been ongoing drama. Just mm. It just hasn't stopped, yo. Mm. And I know, like, we haven't, we've been trying to hide it and tuck it under the rug and stuff like that. And that's what's pretty much getting to us. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I will not justify anything I, I've done, you know? And, and I just, I just, I didn't know how to deal with that emotion, but that doesn't give me any right to do what I did. Now that I'm looking at 
I know I effed up. I know I did, but I'm willing to show you and I'm willing to fight. I don't I'm willing. I wanna fight for you. <sighs> this can be so difficult because I've been in a situation like that with my wife and her family. It's like no matter what I did, no matter what I said, no matter how much I've been there for my wife, my stepchildren, my grandbabies, it just was never enough. It just was never enough. And when you get criticized so much, you get judged so much and get disrespected so much, it's like it's a battle that made it so hard for my marriage. I did my best, but a person has their limits. A person will eventually blow up. And that's what Easy did. I don't know their backstory, I don't know their history with her family and Easy, but I understand Natalie just like I understand my wife. They were stuck in the middle. They're, they're just stuck in the middle. And they're being pulled, you know, they're being pulled. So I get Natalie's state of mind and where she's at mentally. I feel for her, I do. If none of that stuff was happening, if the drama didn't occur and the family loved Easy and Easy loved them, they'll be on the right path for a great relationship. But man, a family is a big deal. A family is a big thing. And obviously a family is important to Natalie. I get it. I get it. But Easy, this is to you. Have you tried to talk to her family? Just you guys alone. Wh whichever family members it is. Talk to them one by one, not all together because they, you might get ganged up on. Talk to them one on one, talk about the issues on hand, and try to resolve everything. If your relationship with Natalie is so important, it's best to figure things out with her family. Because none of y'all want, don't want that. None of, you, none of you guys don't want that for the rest of your lives. Easy or the family, you know? It's tough. I'm gonna show you my love. Come here. You can't just give up on me. It's tough. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm not just, I need my time. I need my time. I, I wish, you know, it hurts me to not be able to comfort you. But I don't want to give you any false hope. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I do love you, Easy. I'm in love with you, and you know that. You know that. And that. That is the reason why this hurts me so bad. That's the reason why I need to just get away. I don't want to. I don't want this to end. I don't want to. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't. Like, please, just understand. You are a beautiful person, Eve. You have a huge heart, a loving, bright soul. But you also, man, like, you you really have to learn how to deal with certain things. You need to learn how to deal with your emotions, not just react. You know, you, you uh. gotta you know, learn how to control that. I don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna go. And I hope you talk to your family too, Nat Nat. I hope you talk to them and let them know too. Because I'm sure they were wrong in, within the drama the last few years as well. So, we'll see. She said, I know you do. She said, I know you do. Thank you all for supporting us through our, throughout this journey. You spelled journey wrong. No matter if you view this as a big or small situation, Natalie has decided to go back to Miami due to how she feels. The behind the scenes drama has weighed hard on the both of us leading up to this point. Thank you again for being so supportive in our most vulnerable times. Damn, that's for real, for real. She's going back to Miami, y'all. And they ended... Social media sensations, Young Easy and Natalie Odell. Have they ended the video with the intro. They're trying to make it sad and shit. You see that? They're trying to make it sad. <laughs> They're trying to make it sad. Listen, I ain't sad. I, I didn't feel sad for that this whole situation because regardless y'all gonna remain friends I know it relationship probably not I don't know we all don't know but I get your situation you guys to all my OG supporters y'all already know that me and my wife have been together for five and a half years we recently decided to separate she, she no longer lives with me but I, I am so in love with her so very much and I fought for the marriage for as long as I could and I will still continue to wait for her 
only because she has decided to leave because of her mental state. She wants to work on herself, she wants to find herself, and who am I to stop her from doing so? You know what I mean? So just like easy, easy, you gotta let her do it. You gotta let her do it, give her her time, her space. What's meant to be will be. As for me, I hope my wife will eventually come back to me in a better state of mind, and I'm hoping that our marriage works out because I do love her. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.